Oh, hello. Hi, Kelvin. Good morning. Oh, hello, Kelvin. How are you? Oh, what's going on here? Oh, there's Kelvin again. Oh, congratulations, mate. You've built a house. Oh, or is this just a dream and we're just on holiday somewhere? It might well be that. Anyway, hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another camping holiday in the woods. Yes, this is the Sons of the Forest. And no, these two assholes, they aren't my sons in a forest. It's just the title of the game. So if you've seen the video on how to set up this mod, where you can do all this and all the commands, create your own Virginias, create your own Kelvins, then you can have your own little army of minions. As you can see, I've got a few here. You have been warned though, prior to this, that you could end up creating yourself FPS issues if you make too many. So, I'm just going to scurry around very quickly while it's safe and the weather's nice and just pick up some of these things I've been... Oh, that appear to just be lying around that some kind soul has left around here for me. Maybe that's what happens when you have a crash in a helicopter. So, yeah, we've crashed in the helicopter. I did a little bit of show me what to do kind of thing video but I didn't really do a great deal of it I'll be honest because that busy f messing around with the ke Kelvin do you mind moving out the way mate D don't don't stand in the way mate. me have to bash your head in with a with a stick I've already had to do that once yes I had to kill Kelvin because he just wasn't following simple instructions which is disappointing well, more disappointing for Kelvin than it was for me. Right, so what I'd like to try and do is, since I'm alone out here in the woods, is um, make myself a make myself a lady friend. And we do have a lady friend that's out here. Well, she's not my friend yet, but I would like her to be. And she may help us in the forest against all these mutants. Now, I'm not going out too far in the dark because, well, let's be honest, I'm a bit of a chicken shit when it comes to cannibals. I've had my fair share of run-ins playing the forest and, well, I don't fancy getting strung up and used like a bacon rasher. I'm sure that she's around here somewhere. Now, in case you weren't clear, what I've done here, I'm playing the game called in Vorpex and it looks absolutely great in Vorpex. Oh, here she is. Oh, hello. Out of all the games I've ever played in Vorpex, none have ever looked this good. This one looks absolutely fucking brilliant. Right, as I was saying, yeah, head tracking, left, right, up, down. I don't have hand tracking, but I do have all the key binds down to the quest controllers, which is brilliant. Guys, you know. Guys, you know, do, do you want to like, stop setting fire to yourself, please? I'm scaring the ladies off. Well, this appears to be the closest I've actually got to her without her running off. Okay, so it looks like she's getting a bit more comfy with me. Hello. Well, okay, it looks like she's getting a little bit comfier with me now. Hello, Virginia. 
Right, well, we seem to be having Lord like, Bambi and his mum and dad running through the middle of the park here. I can give her a gift. I wonder if I can give her some fish. Hello Virginia, I've got some fish for you. Would you like a bite? I guess having that extra hand really does make your um, your cleansing regime a little bit easier. Well, unfortunately, it's not letting me pick anything up to give to you, I'm afraid. But you need to understand your basic needs. So obviously in this, we know about thirst, we know about hunger. And we've got to be aware of the weather. Because the county is going to be affected by cold, wetness, and it can cause a portion of your stamina meter to get blocked off as well. So early on your best bet, build a basic fire, place it on the ground, get your lighter, and then you can craft a torch by combining a stick with a piece of cloth. Now, we know how to rest, we know how to save, but what we haven't looked at is points of interest on the GPS device. So it tracks several important locations on the island, and obviously it shows a helicopter crash size. It also shows caves, distress signals, and there's other points of interest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow some of these rivers to some of these purple dots. Now, apart from the helicopter crash site and the caves, there is a mountain range and numerous rivers that wind around the land here, all the way to the shore. So if you follow these upstream or downstream, there's easy means of navigating the, the environment. Now, obviously make sure as well that you do have weapons key bound. So if I press on here the number one key, I've got a rock, two is my knife, three is a spear, oh, and I haven't bound number four yet, so here we go, go into the inventory, and we'll put the axe as number four. I'm pretty sure I had the GPS as four. Now let's put that as let's put that as number one. It's not a weapon, but we'll put it as number one. She's coming over. Can I equip you with... I'd like to give her a weapon. Unfortunately, I can only give her a pistol or a shotgun, it seems. Well, as three-legged um, and three-armed women go, you're my favourite. That's for deafness. Right, so we're going to look at some of these places because I'm on the understanding so I've been um, reading up and looking into we would like to have the opportunity to explore Bambi fuck off we would like to have the opportunity to explore some of these caves we want to get a flashlight so the best bet here is if we go for a purple marker that's really close to the crash site so if I look at which one we go to I think is it probably this one or it looks like it might be this one so let's get a weapon out
Whoa. Ship me up, that did, Virginia. Right, should we follow the river? Yep, let's follow the river. She's following me. Hello. Okay. Well, we're going to have a bit of an explore. Oh. Not sure what all that lot is. Oh, it looks like the whole gang's swimming with me. Oh, he's still bringing me sticks. You know what, you can stop bringing me sticks now. Go and take a break. Yep. Yep. Chill out, mate. Thanks for the stick. Oh, but you don't need to take a break here. Well, okay. Well, that's up to you, really, isn't it? Well, there is plenty of weirdos. And I'll, I'll be honest, this is probably one of the best looking games I've played in Vorpex ever. I think the only thing is sometimes maybe it might seem a little bit dark, which with a survival horror game is probably not the best thing that you really want. But that's part of the reason why we... Hello. Oh. Well, seems like we're not eating having deer for dinner, dinner tonight. I might be having you for dinner there tonight, look. Yum yum. Anyway, um Yeah, we're just gonna head to this little flashing pointer here. Since it's so close. Let's see if we can kill this deer. I hate Bambi! Oh. Okay, maybe I don't hate Bambi, but I fancy a bit of venison. Am I the flashing points on the map and I'm reading this wrong? Blue blob. Whoa, oh, it's a deer. I thought it was a person then. Oh. I'll nick your leaf, mate. Nick your berries as well. Hello Vera, oh is that for medicine? Oh, that could be for medicine, that could be. If you go down to the woods today, you sure for a big surprise. Well, let's hope I don't get a big fucking surprise. I think I'm heading in the direction of this beach. Beach I'm heading to it, and it also looks like it's getting quite dark. It's a shame that Virginia isn't following me because I feel a little bit safe with her around. I don't know why. Oh. Looks like somebody's been here on uh, for Butlin's holiday. Oh, well. I say he's done book with Butlin's again, mate.
Whoa. That gave me goosebumps all over. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I am seriously tempted to either A, run back to base, or B, turn off the game. Well, at least we've got Kelvin. Yo, Kelvin. Pick up a weapon, buddy. We might be in trouble. Oh, well, there's two of you at least. I'm getting a little bit jumpy now after hearing all the noises. And there's definitely something pissed off out there. There's definitely something out here. I think we all know this anyway. Oh, what a quite little lake. Maybe I should bring Virginia here and try to romance her. But seeing that in in 3D just looks breathtaking, really. Looks absolutely breathtaking. It's a stunning environment, and End Night Games have done a massive improvement over the original game. Oh, we've got three Kelvins with us. Obviously, with the opportunity to play multiplayer as well, is going to be a huge thing. I mean, I'd love to be able to play this with eight other people. It would be absolutely crazy, although I fear that the amount of cannibals and mutants out here could possibly increase somewhat. I heard that. I heard that. I mean, look how great this looks when I'm swimming. Oh, I saw you. Please tell me that's Kelvin. There's cannibals about. Oh, hello, duckies. I'm glad they're ducks and they didn't change into mutant cannibals. I would have been highly upset if a mutant cannibal was able to transform into a duck. Well, at least my phone's not wrecked. So I think for now I'll be uh, following the river. Not sure whether it's feasible to swim against the uh, current. All the way down, but... We're going to try. Hopefully these fuckers don't have anything other than melee weapons. If they've got bows and arrows, I am in trouble. Oh, I can't seem to get through there. Well, we don't want to go too far. I want to hurry back before it starts getting dark. So let's start using this shift key and uh, run in. I must say, there's some spectacular views out here, isn't there? I'm not sure if you can see this, Greg, because it looks quite dark. But in the headset... It looks a little bit lighter where I can see the, the waterfall and the mountain at the top. It feels kind of safer on the river. Hmm. 
I'm scared now because I'm not on the water. I'll be honest, I'm absolutely terrified here. I'm trying to get to that purple dot and I can hear things all around me. Now, usually, you know, I'll get scared playing a horror game. But it's getting dark now. And I can hear things out in the woods and it's really making me feel uneasy. I don't know what that was. Whoa! Fuck. I'm getting out of here. Oh. My God. Follow the river. Whoa! Shit, it's Kelvin, you little fucker. Well, it did say if you come across anybody, because I had a bit of a read, and it says, just run. Oh, shit. Just run. Just run. Well, they're there. It's getting dark. Just run. Oh my god. I don't want to get followed by um, creepy cannibals. Yep, yeah, we're being hunted. I can't <laughs> honestly see shit I can't see shit right well this is really really freaky I can't make it probably where I am ah there's the water Yep, there's my hut. I can just see it. Well, playing the forest in the dark is absolutely terrifying. I'll be completely fucking honest. Yep, I can tell I'm near bias because this is where all the... I can see it, the hut. Is that the tent just there? Yep, that's the tent there. So, we're going to snooze. Oh. Oh. Well, that was completely and utterly mortifying. Who is this? It's Kelvin. And he's such a good lad, he's cooked me lots of fish. And here are the other three Kelvins that have been following me all the way through the dark and very likely being the ones that have been hunting me because they're just trying to catch up to me right so what we can do is we're going to leave the video just here but before we do that i want some breakfast so you go and make me a fire 
So, yeah, my advice is... Don't play this game, it's too scary. No, really. Um, let's pull up the GPS. So, what you're going to try and do is get yourself the torch. It's at... So, I'm led to believe it's... Did he just wave at me? I think he did. Um, it's at one of these purple locations here. It's at the closest one. Now, the trouble is we can't zoom out, to my knowledge, to see any further away or anything like that. Right, so we've got a fire going. What the fuck? Is that what do you want, mate? Huh? <laughs> what was that? I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Right, well, I've been unable to save the game. Because it seems I've been, well, not murdered. I've been kidnapped. I don't know where I am. Well, I'm going. Seems like I'm cold. Right, well, this is where I was a little bit earlier. I've not been taken too far from my own camp. Shit, are they right next to me? Right, well, this is getting a little bit precarious now. Hopefully they've not murdered all my Kelvins. Well, at least Virginia's alive, I can see. Right, well...
Well, it looks like there's a bit of problems here. Because we've got no Kelvins. I think they've murdered all my Kelvins. have destroyed me house. No, there's me Calvins. They're floating around there. Okay, well, this has been Headset VR, playing the Sons of the Forest and having a little bit of a scary time. We're starting to see why this game's a little bit on the um, frightening side. So I'm just going to end the video here and say thank you for watching. I'm absolutely terrified. I'm surrounded by cannibals and I'm in massive trouble. But thanks for watching and we'll do another video soon and you'll see whether I manage to survive or not. So thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see anything else which happens in Sons of the Forest and other VR content. Otherwise, any comments you make will be responded to as long as you're not a complete twat badger. Otherwise, I won't say shit to you. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Hopefully, I'll be still alive to see you soon. Bye-bye.